Hello, this is Gary at Jack Raven Brushcraft. Thank you for watching our video. Uh, this week I'm going to talk a little around wild garlic. currently in an area that will very shortly become completely inundated with ramsons, uh, wild garlic. But I wanted to just point out a few other plants that are growing in this same area. Uh, so this is the, the wild garlic down here. So this is the, the leaf of it. Uh, they've only really just started to come through in this last sort of week or so, uh, so they're, they're quite small at the moment still, those leaves will end up maybe that kind of length in a couple of months or so. Uh, so these are absolutely delicious at the moment. Growing in amongst it, however, so we've got here dog's mercury. This is last year's dog's mercury, still, um, still about. This is this year's dog's mercury coming through. We've also got um, in front of me here bluebells and we also have here lords and ladies. So we've got four species here all in the same area. Only one of them however is edible and that's the, the wild garlic. So the dog's mercury. Um, so dog's mercury is an ancient woodland indicator been um, can be used to make a semi-permanent reddish brownish dye um, but it is toxic so there are cases of people ingesting this eating this um, and basically it's going to give you a very upset stomach or so vomiting diarrhea it's also been recorded cases where it's turned people's urine red um, now I'm guessing that's something to do with the fact that you also get this reddish brown um, dye coming from it. There are also cases in Germany of cattle eating dog's mercury and it uh, turning their milk blue. Um, and I have to say I don't understand um, why it would turn the milk blue. And again the cows also had some um, had, had stomach upsets with that, so the, the um, diarrhea um, mostly. The lords and ladies here, so the leaf shape is completely different so lords and ladies the leaf shape think of it more as a an arrowhead kind of thing so we've got these spurs on the underside so at this time of year you are unlikely to mistake them what can happen however is as the as the ramsons get longer uh, as they grow as there's and there will be lots of them here it's going to be a very dense carpet of them in this area if all you see is the tip of the plant poking out and you kind of go for a, a sweeping approach to your foraging so you just kind of get a big handful of them um, rather than picking them individually then it is possible that you can have this mixed in with it so what happens with this one uh, if you ingest it if you eat it you are going to know pretty much straight away so what will happen is you'll get a tingling along your lip uh, and then your and your tongue almost immediately afterwards and then you'll start to get a burning sensation in your mouth so everything in your body is going to say spit that out if however you continue to eat it it can cause uh, your throat to swell up and it can cause death through asphyxiation so watch out for in particular the the, the dog's mercury here the lords and ladies um, and indeed the, the bluebells as I intimated earlier, the we are at the start of the season for the wild garlic now, so the leaves are just starting to, to poke through. Um, and they are really, really tasty. It's definitely one of my spring, springtime uh, favorites. So we can eat the leaf on it, uh, especially when they're this size. Uh, you can use it to make a pesto. You can, uh, really popular at the moment is to do a, a wild garlic sea salt. Uh, you, you could just chop them up and um, put them in as a salad plant. 
as the leaves get bigger so towards the end of the um the season on it so once we start getting into kind of mayish time we're going to swap over what we do with them and um, you can use them instead of a vine leaf so you can make um ramzan or wild garlic dalmadis using these instead uh, the stems are um, edible they're really tasty in fact um, my favorite part of them however is the flower so the flower which is going to probably about a month away yet before these are going to flower um, before they unfurl they look a bit like a pear drop that that kind of thing and um, so that you know just pick it in in it goes um and it's like a little garlic bomb going off in your mouth there's this real explosion of uh of, of taste and it's absolutely wonderful you it doesn't l linger that that taste it doesn't linger in the same way um cultivated shop bought garlic does so you, you can eat this um and yeah it's not going to stay with you for the rest of the day so hopefully guys that's something that is going to be of use to you something that you can take with you on your own bushcraft adventures um, i will endeavor to get more content out next week um, in the meantime take care stay safe <laughs>